Exco began as a small machine shop in Scarborough in the 1950s and has since grown to become a publicly traded Canadian corporation serving customers globally. I run the large mold series of businesses and we specialize in the design, manufacture and trial of large high pressure die casting tools. Our core customers have always been the Detroit 3, Ford, General Motors and Chrysler, although we also do business in Europe with Mercedes as well as the tier one die casters both in the United States and across the world. It's an export based business, uh, probably 95% of our business is outside of our home market here in Canada. Tooling has really gone global, whereas we used to compete against the Americans and to some extent uh, the Europeans, now we see competition everywhere, whether it's Asia, South America, Eastern Europe. The challenge has been to invest intelligently in people and machinery to be able to compete with these other folks across the world. The new technology, if you're trained properly to use it, is so much more productive than the old technology. 20 or 25 years ago we were moving from manual equipment to so-called CNC controlled machines. Uh, we've now taken the next step, very much robotics and automation and data acquisition and control. Truthfully, the easy part is going out and buying the best machines. The difficult part is the people and in particular the training. The Eve Landry Foundation AIM grant has been a big part of our success here. The first area of focus was in training new folks, people that have just joined the business, how to use our proprietary systems and software, stuff that we have developed in-house. The second focus was in bringing our people up to speed on the new technology. We've invested millions of dollars in really revolutionizing the way we build tooling here and everything is different. The machines are far more complicated, the computer control systems are far more complicated, there's robotics involved, there's RFID chips and visual ID systems. The process now is so interconnected and so digital, the skill set required to succeed in it is much different from what you would have as with a traditional machinist or skilled tradesperson. The Eve Landry Foundation AIM grant is also training our employees to use what we call the central tooling library, where we have a robotically controlled arm that is feeding tools to a machine that's really the first of its type in the world, and it allows us to improve productivity dramatically. You know, the other thing is that people are enjoying learning. It's easy to talk about training and, and not necessarily do all the training that's required. The employees are really like rolling up the sleeves and becoming students again and learning the new equipment. I think Exco is representative of Canadian companies generally in that you can't just compete on a commoditized cost basis in the manufacturing industry. You've got to add value. Designing fresh and designing new, adding innovation, improving the designs, and it's really it's a knowledge-based industry. The Eve Landry Foundation AIM grant has been terrific. We all talk about the need for training. The truth is training is expensive. It takes time. It takes you away from production. And the Eve Landry Foundation grant has allowed us to really dive into this full force and do exactly what we believe has been needed to upgrade our skills and indeed become world leaders.